All right, so we're here in Chicago. Chinatown, baby. My cousin Santi. And so we're gonna go around, we're gonna do a couple of things. Just so happen to run into this bear. I don't know what's going on I here. I don't know either. <laughs> so we're gonna go and see a bunch of stuff. We're gonna go to Buckingham Pump. We're gonna go to Millennium Park, which is right over here. Do a, a boat tour on the lake. So a bunch of different things. So let's get going. <laughs> so this is only uh, rock climbing during the summer? Yes. And, and then, then it's ice skating during the winter. I wonder what they do with that big, those big walls. <laughs> they just leave them, they cover them up. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. I would love to do it, man. Oh, Have you done rock climbing? Oh, yeah. Então estamos aqui e eu com a camisa do Bahia representando meu pai. Você achou que eu não ia vir representando o Bahia? Bahia na cabeça, Bahia aqui na camisa em Chicago. Yeah. E no coração Bahia. Yeah. Bora Bahia. Yeah. We're getting up to Buckingham Fountain. Haven't been here in years. But of course Santi had to bring me. Absolutely. Our guy. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Native guy. Native guy. But I'm the one wearing the... He's wearing NASA. Yeah. And I'm wearing the Cubs here. <laughs> Uh -huh. I yeah. wish it was just a little bit sunnier, but this is reality, right? It rains. It Absolutely. happens. <laughs> but it, at least it's not cold. Yeah. It's not cold. That's right. It's, it's a nice temperature. It's probably what, 80 you'd say? It's just like 70-ish. Yeah. 70, yeah. And yeah. with the clouds, it feels a little bit cooler, but not too What's bad. That? Yeah. yeah. No, it's good. It would be way worse if it was windy. Yeah. <laughs> the windy city, thankfully, is not windy right now. Yeah. <laughs> The World's Fair came to Chicago in like the early 1900s, so that's why a lot of the stuff is around like Navy Pier. I think this fountain, but that's why they made like a lot of um, like attractions and statues and stuff because like it was like the World's Fair. People from all around the world were coming to Chicago to see like new technology, you know, learn all this stuff. So yeah, they just built a whole lot of stuff and it's stood the test of time 100 years later. Right? People still come to see it over here. Yeah. <laughs> I think, I don't know, I could be wrong. <laughs> yeah, throw that out there. It, see, it feels right. It feels right, it sounds right, right? Same with enough confidence. <laughs> Just for like, when it's cold? No, I wouldn't even drink it then, no? No, it, it's, um... Uh, also, keep your guys' eyes peeled for that, like, Y symbol, because that's all over Chicago, too. I never noticed it until someone pointed it out, but it's like everywhere. It just, it's all the rivers connecting. So that's what that is. So I think that's what that is. If I were, if I had to like cool. put some money on it, that's what I would guess. Also a tower. Yeah. on the river and lake boat tour. Yeah. All right, so we have to cross the bridge and we're gonna go down and we're gonna see all the awesome stuff here, okay? Really beautiful. You can check out that lobby after our tour. We're walking down the street now. See the apple store right there? See those high glass walls? Yeah. Watch your step. It's slippery. On the roof of the building, the dome structure, that is called the Belvedere. Belvedere is Italian. Or a scenic uh, structure on the top of the building with a beautiful view. I don't know what the plans are for us today with the winter here. Is you This right here was all in Transformers. Yep. All of this was in Transformers. They, they did a nice job rebuilding the city after the yeah. Decepticon attack. <laughs> Hi. 
Are you guys excited? Yeah. I'm very excited. Oh my God. So we made it to the boat. Morale is high right now. Uh, <laughs> hopefully we don't get lost at sea. Gonna see the Chicago River. Gonna see the Chicago Lake River and Lake Michigan. <laughs> Please all turn on your life jackets. There is a There you go. Fan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So the last time we came over here, we went to the Navy Pier with my father-in-law, Livia's dad. And his father. And yeah, your parents, your yeah. folks. That's right. We are here today, remembering you when we came here with the fires of artifice and you drank your beer, your valuable beer. You remember that? So we had a lot of good moments. And we will have more. Saudade. Body of water. Our lobster fest is popping today. Look at that. There's the Chicago flag with the four red stars and the two blue stripes. I'll tell you by the end of the tour what the other three red stars represent. Let's start talking this. about buildings, my friends. All right, go to the left. I want you to look for the building with the blue W on the side of it. And then I want you to go to the right of that. The building that has the peak roof. It's blue and color. Meu pai, eu estou aqui agora pensando em você, minha mãe. A man that owns Lembra a quando a gente veio aqui juntos? Magazine, actually. Ah, it needs a facelift. Look off to the left. Friends of the Chicago Harbor Lighthouse are coming together to restore this lighthouse. It is still an active lighthouse. It's an automated lighthouse. Built in 1892 for one of two world's fairs that we would host in this city. You got the museum that has the windows that have the blue accents. That's Shed Aquarium. And then right behind that, a building that's uh, peaked in the center, that's the Field Museum. Now, if you go even even further behind, you see that stadium back there. It looks like a spaceship has landed on top of those columns. That's where the Bears play football for now. For now. Soldier Field is the oldest and smallest stadium in the NFL. You see the Motorola sign under, look at the, the, the Willis Tower there, and then keep looking down, you see the Motorola sign? Motorola has had their headquarters here in Chicago for a long, long time. One of the first ever cell phones was made by Motorola. How much did it weigh? Eight pounds. Woo, that's a lot. That's a lot. Look at, this, look at this building, look at this building with the white vertical lines. The very tip top of it is covered in the clouds. White vertical lines to draw your eyes up. In terms of height, that's the fourth tallest. 1,173 feet. The architect Edward Durrell Stone. It was built for a company called Standard Oil. We often refer to the building as Big Stan. Today, the building is the Aon Center. Like I said, it's the fourth tallest, but some would say. That building was the biggest architectural mistake in Chicago history. All right, let's go back to the tallest building in our city. 1,454 feet in the air. It's 110 stories. Again, if you ask somebody from Chicago. It's the Willis Tower, named after a company in jolly old England. A company called the Willis Holding Corporation. They mainly deal with finance and insurance. Willis is the same company, guys, that insured the Titanic. From 1973 until 1998, Sears Tower is the tallest in the world. Today, it is not that. It's the tallest in Chicago. It's the third tallest in the United States. A few, only a few very wealthy people that live inside the Willis Tower. It's mainly a commercial building. Mainly a commercial building. But you can make your way. You can go up to the 95th floor. I see all you guys. Nothing but a little bit. Nothing but a little bit. All right, guys, we're back in the Chicago Harbor lot. Here's what's going to happen. We're going to wait for these gates that we're about to pass. We're going to wait for those to close. All the water that's in the lock going to dump back into the river. We're going to go up and down the main branch of the Chicago River, and then we're going to take you home. And yes, they do count. All right. Who says no? No, no, no. All of you are correct that said no. Yeah. E aí tem, temos que esperar agora até o nível da água se igualar, porque a gente agora está aqui no, no lago, então tem que a água tem que se igualar ao nível do rio, só aí a gente vai poder passar. Estão vendo aí que está abaixando o nível já aqui, para ficar exatamente o mesmo nível do rio. <risos> e aqui estamos agora no lago que... 
leva o nome do estado de meu amor. É o Lago Michigan. Apesar de que estamos em Chicago, Illinois. Já estamos prontos. Building that you see here, built east of Lakeshore Drive. There's an ordinance that was put into effect in the mid 1960s that said, uh uh, no more. We're keeping the lakefront free and accessible. You're not building east of Lakeshore Drive. So that is the only one, my friends. Very modern residential building here off to the right hand side. This is the residence of Riverview 1 and 2. The easternmost tower here built in 2001, 2004 for the westernmost tower. Up there where you see those exhaust fans, that's where you'll find the well, 9,000 square foot penthouse. Last time I saw it priced 8.99 million. Features a full-size basketball court, jacuzzi big enough for 12, and a full-size court to play squash. Now, I like that they designed the top of the cylinder to look like the crown off of Lady Liberty, of course, in New York City. <laughs> All right. 35 East Wacker here off to the right-hand side. It's a neoclassical building, that dome at the top, if you ask an architect, he's going to tell you it's a Belvedere. This is called the Jewelers Building. Really cool about the Jewelers Building, to protect the jewelers from all the gangsters that were roaming the streets, John Dillinger on the phone, amongst others. Jewelry dealers could simply drive their car in the late 20s into that building. There was a car lift that took them 24 hours up to the floor that they were working on. All right, the skinniest skyscraper in Chicago. It's off to the right-hand side. Any, any building over 472 feet is considered a skyscraper. This is the skinniest in Chicago. Completed in 1928 by Riddle and Riddle when the building opened, guys. That was the tallest building in the city of Chicago. Held the title for two whole weeks. Two whole weeks. Today it's home to the River and Club Quarters Hotel. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the captain, the crew, the entire Rebella family, my name is Josh. It has been a true pleasure spending the past 90 minutes with you. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Happy weekends. Thank you. You guys are great. Thank you. So, did you like it? Yeah. Yeah, it was awesome. I went on one before, and that one was a little bit different. This one was really good, too. Because the one awesome. that you said before, you didn't go on the lake. We went on the lake at the end. They kind of took us out, showed us the skyline, and then brought us back in. Immediately, the one I did was like a river one. Oh, okay. Down to Chinatown, all the way to the north side, to Goose Island, and then onto the lake. But this one was really good too. So awesome. what did you like most? Uh, I like hearing all the history and stuff about the building. It was really cool. Like this building was built in this year by this person doing this. I think that's always interesting. Which one is your favorite? Um, probably the one that he said that looks like a champagne bottle. Yeah. I'd never seen that building before, so that was really cool. Eyes. What's your favorite? Building? I mean, I don't know. What is the London, the London House? The London House is pretty cool. I think it's just ne neat architecture. Uh, yeah, it's pretty neat. <laughs> Yeah. But it was nice to see like even the Navy Pier from the lake, uh, you know, looking out into it. That's a different angle to look yeah. at. It's pretty cool. <laughs> what about you? What was your favorite? I'm not sure. It, there are so many different types and styles. Like, they're modern. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And sometimes yeah. it's really like old style. But I got a little emotional when we stopped by the Navy Pier because I, I remember my family. Yeah my mom that we were here together we need to do it again guys yes. right absolutely we have our oh, you guide too. yes always welcome Poor guy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you were great oh, thank you we enjoy chicago day. yes we made it we made it It's a pork belly bun. So you actually ordered the uh, tonkatsu, so that's what that is, the meat in your ramen, but it's in a bun with uh, some cucumbers and stuff. It looks really good. I thought it was gonna be more than one. Yeah. <laughs> but, so I wanted you guys to try some, but. That's what she said, all for you. <laughs> yeah, I was like, Man. if you guys want one, you guys should order one. 
so yeah. It looks very fluffy. Yeah. Oh yeah. It looks, I mean, the pork belly looks okay. meaty, so go for it. Yeah. I wonder if you need... Oh yeah, that's super good. You guys should order one. <laughs> yeah, look at look at the look at how all the meat that's in there. That's a good pork belly. You guys should order one. That's good. It was kind of sweet. Uh, the bun was super like doughy and soft, and it kind of had like a kick to it, like some heat, but it wasn't spicy. You know what I mean? It was just like like hot. You know? It was really good. <laughs> That's the katsu katsu. Thank you. It looks so delicious. I'm so happy to hear that. It, it really does. Oh man. Oh yeah. Oh man. But with the sauce, it's got like a, a sweet touch. But then there's also like some saltiness. It's called the sumo. It's got uh, pork belly in it. And then it has dumplings, corn, a lot of garlic. Tá quentinho, tá saindo, and you know what? I, I didn't eat the pork belly yet, but I can taste it yeah. just in the in the ramen. Just it's delicious. It's really tasty. It's good. So let's try now with some seaweed. So delicious. Oh man! It tastes like a barbecue rib. Is what it tastes like in there. Super soft. Oh my goodness, that's, that's really, really good. good. So now that I got a better bite of the pickle, the pickle gives that nice uh, crispy crunchiness to it. But then it also has like this tart touch to it, right? It's a little bit more spicy, as you would imagine from pickle. So that adds something to kind of balance out the the sweetness of the pork belly itself. And then with the sauce, the sauce is got a little touch of spiciness so it just kind of all comes together it's delicious it's awesome <laughs> So tell me what do you like to do in Chicago? In the summertime, going to the beach, uh, going to baseball games, uh, and then Wrigleyville is really fun. They always have like events going on and there's a bunch of different bars that have a bunch of fun stuff. Like there's games, um, pools at yeah. some of them. <laughs> So those are fun in the summertime. Winter time is a different story. <laughs> it's fun to go like ice skating. Do you like ice skating? Yes. I love but ice skating. It's freezing. So coming downtown, you're always like wear three pairs of pants and like four jackets, and you're really really cold, and you're only outside for like two hours, and you're like, okay, I'm done with this. <laughs> so you you go for ice skating outside? Yes. So. Right in the loop by Millennium Park, there's the Maggie Daly Park, and they have an ice rink in the winter time. Nice. All right, so exactly 10 years ago was the last time that we came here, right before we we're gonna get married. And this is where we came with Livia's dad and mom. We came here to the Sears Tower, the Willis Tower, right? Tallest building in the world. <laughs> it no. was. No, it is. <laughs> <laughs> And so we we came here. We went up. We did the the uh, sky it box. Sky box. We did the sky box where you're like in a glass room over you know nothing underneath you uh, sticking out from the building. You can't see from over here, right? No, it's on the other side, I think. Yeah. And I'm here with the Bahia shirt representing. Represent. Bahia. Woohoo! Bora Bahia! Bahia. <laughs> Woo yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it's called. It's not the sky box. <laughs> it's sky deck. 
<laughs> so you can see there's a sign saying it's for the sky deck. It's that way, right? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You might recognize that famously from the dark knight it was featured there batman riding through in his motorcycle right over here 